get started. See ya. Hi, welcome to Tuesday afternoon Pilates. Uh, where I'm up in Fingal Heads at the moment and another spot with bad internet. So we're doing a pre-record and upload today. So thanks everyone for joining in. Uh, just if you've got a band handy, uh, this or TheraBand, just grab it. We'll use those today for some of our leg work. Okay, so we're going to start off today um, in a four-point kneel. So we're standing on, starting on your hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and starting with your cat stretch, cow stretch. So head down, tailbone under, curling up into your cat stretch, and then reverse, head up, bottom out, sinking down. Working through those two positions, getting as much movement as you can from the top of your head down to the bottom of your tailbone. Moving each level of the spine, moving around through the shoulder blades. One more each direction. And then coming back to your neutral position and then we're going to change to your threading the needle stretch. So it's breath in as you thread through and under, breath out, twist and open. So you're letting the head follow the hand. As much rotation as you can get with the upper body. One more on this side. And then change other side. Breath in, breath out as you twist and open. And one more on that side. Hand coming down, then stretching through the calf. So curling toes under, push back. Little stretch release through the calf, keeping the knee straight. And then change, other leg, push back, release. Then coming into sitting, both legs straight out in front and we're doing a spiral twist stretch here. So right leg up and over, left arm wrap and twist. As much rotation as you can, lift through the chest. And back to the centre, change other side. Leg up and over wrap and rotate. Back to the middle, forward stretch here, so breath in, reaching through the fingertips, breath out, up and over, stretch forwards. Rolling up, two more. Breath in, lengthen through the spine, breath out, stretch forwards. One more. Good. Up from there and then on to roll back. So we're going to stay in a seated position, knees bent, knees together, feet together. And just starting with your standard roll backs here, tucking under, roll back, scoop and lengthen up. Tuck roll and coming up. Belly button drawing back towards the spine.
and then adding arm opening in so coming back hold open to the side back to middle out and in letting the head follow the hand And one more there. Coming up and over and forward stretch. Up from there. Okay, from here, rolling down all the way onto the floor. So coming down, bring one knee into the chest, pull that knee into the chest and hold. Little rock side to side with the knee. And then hamstring stretch, foot up, hand behind the leg, pulling the leg back towards you and hold that stretch. Keeping the leg in the air, hands drop by the side, leg circles, cross, down, around and up. Working through the tummy muscles here making sure you get hamstring stretch at the top. One more that direction and then back the other direction. One more. And then all the way down to the floor, change other side. Knee to chest first. Slight rock, side to side. And then foot going up and pull that leg back towards you and hold and stretch. Keeping the leg up, hands by side, leg circles. And then back the other direction. And last one there, all the way down to the floor. Then from here, bring the knees into the chest, starting here and starting with your single leg extension. So both hands onto one knee, extend the leg away, and then change to the other side. So we're doing out in, only using the hands as much as you need to. So if you don't need those hands, let them rest by the side, keep the legs going out and in. And one more each side, knees in and then both legs going up, going onto leg drops, single leg drops, down and up, alternating side to side, using the hands if you need. If you don't need the hands, let them drop by the side, keep the legs going.
And one more each side. Good. Knees bend down, feet down to the floor, and then just going on to curl ups next. So we're starting with the arms overhead, curling up, head and shoulders, reach fingertips away, and then lowering down. Curl, reach, and lower. Hand behind the head if you need to support the neck. Now next one curling up, holding here and we're lifting the arms up and then reach a little bit further. So lifting up, reach. So it's like you're sort of coming halfway down but not quite all the way down and then curling up just that little bit higher. Again, keep hand behind the head if you need. And two more there. And finishing down, good. Okay, then from here we're bringing the legs, both legs up into tabletop, flex the feet and onto heel taps. Down and up, keeping the knee at 90 degrees, moving from the hip. Making sure the lower back isn't arching up off the floor, belly button's drawing down. And one more each side. Leaving the legs up, bring the arms up and dead bug. So arm and leg extend away together, then coming back out and in. Again, drawing the belly button down, making sure the lower back stays supported. And one more each side. Good, feet resting down, arms resting down. So we're going on to bridging next and we're gonna combine your bridging with a curl up. So hands start by the side, scoop through the tummy, rolling up into your bridge, arms coming up overhead, leaving the arms overhead as you roll down and then curling up into your curl up from there and lower down. And same again, going through your bridge, up, arms stay overhead, down and into curl up. Making sure with your bridge as you roll back down, the lower back hits the ground before the tailbone. And one more there. Good, okay, from here, if you've wriggled off your mat, come back down. Okay, we're gonna stay with bridging and we're going up into bridge position and hold and we're doing leg lift lowers and lifts so we're extending one foot up towards the ceiling drop that leg down so it's in line with the other leg and then lifting up so you've got your down up keep going on the same leg for 10 once you've done 10 on the first leg change to the other leg 
and trying to stay as stable as you can through the pelvis, keeping the hips up. And the knee, leg only drops so it's in line with the other leg. Once you've done 10 on both legs, rolling down through the spine, all the way back down, and then we're going to repeat that again. So you're going, rolling up through bridge, hold bridge position, and then 10 leg kicks each side. Once you've done 10 on the first leg, change to the other leg, and keeping the hips up. And when you've done 10 each side, back to bridge position, rolling down from there. Good. Okay, we're doing single leg bridges next. So one leg lifts to tabletop, squeezing at the glutes, lifting up into your bridge position, lower halfway, squeeze, lift back up. Keeping as much stability at the pelvis as you can. Ten on the first leg, staying up as you change, and ten on the second leg. And then change, I'm going to repeat that one more time on each leg. So back to your first leg, single leg bridges, drop to halfway, and then lift. And changing sides, last set of 10. And then feet down, rolling down through bridge, back down to neutral position. Okay, we're moving on to obliques next. So from here, letting the knees drop to right hand side, left hand behind the head, right hand up on top of the hip. And then curl, reach from there, and then lowering down. And two more on that side. When you come back through the middle, re-straighten through the spine. Knees to the left, right hand behind the head, left hand top of the hip, curl reach from there. And two more on that side. Back to middle, re-straighten through the spine and pelvis. Okay, then from here, both hands around behind the head, curling up, elbow opposite knee, and down, alternating sides. As much rotation as you can with the upper body. And one more there, finish down. And then next set there, level one, you're gonna repeat the exact same there. Level two, going onto Pilates ride. So Pilates ride, you're working here, elbow opposite knee, legs extending. Level one option, you're still here, elbow opposite knee, side to side. 
So either of those two options. And again, still getting as much rotation as you can with the upper body. One more each side. Head down, feet down, giving the knees a little rock side to side. Okay, from here we're bringing the knees in and then legs lifting up to tabletop, hands starting overhead. So we're going on to a curl up with leg extension here. So you're curling up, extend one leg out and lower down. So level one option here would be to keep the feet on the floor and extend out and in from here. But if you're okay with legs up, you're working here. Again, hand behind the head if need. And one more each side. And then curling up and hold, and then legs keep going out and in. Now you can have both hands behind the head here if you need, and feet can be on the floor if you need. So this one can be here for level one. If you're okay with legs up, keep going with the legs up. Holding that curl up if you can. And one more each side. Knees coming into chest, head down. Okay, we're gonna keep going from here. We're moving on to your reverse crunches. Legs going up towards the ceiling. Hands are either by your side, level one. Cross your chest, level two. Squeeze, lift, peeling the tailbone just up off the floor. And two more. Okay, from here, open the arms out to the side, let the legs come back to tabletop. We're going on to the knee drops, side to side. And then if you can, you're adding a leg extension in. So as you drop, stretch the legs away, then come back through the middle. Drop, extend, then come back. So keep the knees bent if you need, if you're okay with that extension, keep going with the leg extension. Keeping the shoulders flat on the floor, we'll go one more each side. Good, back to middle and then on to reverse cycle. So both hands on one knee, stretching away, up in, change sides, away, up in. Okay, only using the hands if you need to here. If you don't need the hands, let the hands drop by the side. Keep the legs going. Really lowering and extending that leg away. Mm -hmm. 
And we're going to go one more each side. Put the knees into chest, give the knees a little rock side to side. We're doing hundreds exercise next, but we're going to be changing position throughout your hundreds exercise. So either starting with the feet on the floor or starting with the legs on tabletop. Curling up into your Pilates hold, head supported if need be. And the first one we're just staying here for your breath in for five, breath out for five. And then extend one leg away. And then change legs. And then back to start position. Extend one leg away. Change legs. Back to start position. Go through that one more time. Extend one leg away. Change legs. Back to start position. Hold here one more breath. And then finishing down. As you finish down, open the arms out to the side. Keeping the arms shoulders flat, take the knees all the way down onto the floor and you're just sinking into that stretch. So let the weight of the legs pull you into a stretch. Coming back through the centre and then knees drop other side, keeping shoulders flat and the legs just pulling you into a rotation stretch there. Back to middle and then coming up into sitting and we're going to do some balance exercises here. Okay, so starting in sitting, knees bent, feet together. So we're going through a little tuck under, roll back, hands behind the legs and lifting up into your balance position and hold. Ha keep the hands there if you need. If you're okay without the hands, let go. Belly button keeps drawing back to the spine, drop through the shoulders. Lowering down from there. Reverse that stretch, lift through the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades back. And then we repeat that again, tucking under, roll back, legs lift, drop the hands if you can, and then from there you're coming up into tabletop. So with the hands you're here, without the hands here, and hold and balance. Keep working through the tummy muscles, try to relax the shoulders and neck. Good, come down, stretch out. 